What's going on everybody? Stevie here with another video. Hope everybody's doing well out there. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Arcade 1UP Class of 1981 Deluxe Cabinet. Half Miss Pac-Man, half Galaga. You can't go wrong with that. I got this from my local Best Buy for $5.49 Canadian. That's $100 off the regular price here in Canada. Though that's still steep, I couldn't say no. I've wanted this cab for quite a while. So we're going to take a look at the exterior, and then after that, we'll talk about the interior, the nuts and bolts, like the screen, the joystick, the buttons. But we'll start with the light-up marquee. Now, this light-up marquee is probably one of the best I've seen Arcade 1UP do. The blacks are actually black. The colors are very vibrant. This light-up marquee, when it's on, it makes me want to come to the cabinet. And that's what a light-up marquee is supposed to do. Now, as we pan down to the screen, you can see it's got that traditional Namco tilt. That's one of the things I love about this cabinet. It's got a 17-inch BOE monitor that looks fantastic when you're right in front of the cabinet. We're going to talk about the viewing angles a little bit later on, but in front of the cabinet, it looks great. Now, we're going to take a look at the control deck. Some people were saying it was small in size, but I find it comfortable to play on. It's got some beautiful artwork on it. The joystick and buttons are your typical Arcade 1UP joystick and buttons. Nothing to write home about, but they get the job done. We'll take a look at the speaker grills. A nice clean finish. I really like these speaker grills. It just makes the cabinet look more authentic. and makes it feel like less of a toy. So now we're going to pan out. Get a better look at the control deck and the monitor. Now we're going to take a look at the bottom half. We got the J panel there that brings that artwork from the control deck downwards. It looks great. Now we'll take a look at the kick plate that has the classic class of 1981 artwork on it. I really like it. And then they added a coin door. Thank God the original class of 81 that they did didn't have the coin door. I'm so glad that they added it on the deluxe cabinet. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the light up buttons. That would have been a nice touch. They're starting to add that now to their deluxe cabinets, but I'm just glad it has the coin door. So we'll take a look at the side panels. We'll start with the Miss Pac-Man side, which is my favorite side of the cabinet. I love that Miss Pac-Man artwork. I love the traditional blue that they used on this cabinet with the pink and yellow. It just looks fantastic. So one thing I commend Arcade One Up adding with these deluxe cabinets is the screw hole covers. It makes the cabinet look a lot more clean and it just makes the artwork flow a lot better when you're not seeing those screw holes. As you can see, there's a seam here in the middle of the cabinet that connects the bottom and the top half of the cabinet, but you can barely see it on the Miss Pac-Man side. The Miss Pac-Man side looks amazing. Now we're going to take a look at the Galaga side, which also looks great. You can see the screw hole covers a little bit more just because with the black, you get a little bit of a shine. And with that shine, you can see anything that's not flush. And the screw hole covers kind of stick out a little bit. So that's why you can see them more. You can also see a little bit more of that seam just because of the white artwork from the Galaga logo. But it still looks fantastic. I'm really happy with how this side looks as well. Now we'll take a look at the games on the cabinet. We have 12 Namco Classics. We have Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug. Dig Dug 2, Galaga, of course, Galaga 88, Galaxian, Mappy, Rally X, Rolling Thunder, Rompers, The Tower of Draga, I think I said that right, and King and Balloon. So now we'll take a look at some of the options you get for some of these games. Like with Miss Pac-Man, you have the speed option, which is awesome. Difficulty, bonus, you can add lives. Dig Dug, you get a lot of the same with a few extras. It's nice having options with all these games. With Galaga, you get the fast fire mode. I love that. That's one of my favorite ways to play Galaga, so I'm glad they added that. Then you have Rally X, which is just on the class of 81. You can add more cars to the game, make it a little more difficult. Because this cabinet has Wi-Fi, all the games have leaderboards, which is awesome. It just makes you want to play the cabinet more. Try to beat those high scores. Between the leaderboards and the options, you're pretty much set to have fun 
with every game. Now, one thing I wish they added to this cabinet is the addition of Pac-Man. Now, you're probably wondering, why would they add Pac-Man to a Miss Pac-Man cabinet? Arcade 1-Up never does that. Well, it would have made sense with this cabinet. The original Class of 81 had Pac-Man as a secret game. So it would have been a nice callback and a nice Easter egg for them to put it on the cabinet, even if you had to unlock it somehow. I know it's wishful thinking, but it would have been pretty cool. Now the next thing we're going to take a look at is some viewing angles of this monitor. Now it's a BOE monitor, so it's a great quality monitor. But when you go away from the cabinet, if you go to the far left, you get a bit of ghosting. And when you go to the far right, you get that same amount of ghosting. But this cabinet is meant to be played dead center. And when you do that, there's no ghosting. It's very clear. Does not affect gameplay at all. Now, in my opinion, the Class of 81 Deluxe is a must-have cabinet. 12 amazing Namco games with Wi-Fi. You got the leaderboards. Beautiful light-up marquee. A nice seamless Deluxe form factor. You got the coin door. Beautiful screen. You're going to be playing it dead on. So don't worry about the ghosting. The volume can get quite high. I normally leave it at 2 or 3. It's a fantastic cabinet. If you're interested, I would definitely pick it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review.